Yes. So let's start with the interview and best of luck. Thank okay. you. Sir. So let's start with start with like uh, could you please uh, give basic introduction about yourself? So my name is Pradeep Manotra and currently I am pursuing BTEC in computer science and engineering from lovely professional university. And right now I am in my fourth year of my undergraduate program. And talking about my experience, currently I am working with Bob Ali as a native C plus plus developer intern. And talking about my technical skills, I have good knowledge in the field of data structures and algorithms, as I have solved many problems on various pro platforms, Git code, Geek for Geeks, and all. Talking about my interests and hobbies, like I have an interest in gardening. I love to spend time my free time in my garden and I have a habit of doing daily workout which helps me to feel energetic and motivated for the entire day and this habit helped me to lose around 20 kg of weight in the previous six months okay, that's, cool. thanks. that's all about me thanks thanks Adik, for this one okay so I'll uh, so let's start on the pattern so Hardik I will be asking some basic questions of OOPS and DSA and yep. after that we will be having two questions of 20 minutes each right so yeah. i will keep you reminding of the time and once yep. we reach to the 20 minutes so we will just switch to the other question so that we have sufficient time for the other question also okay okay and mm -hmm. at last five minutes we will keep it for the feedback okay okay so and thank you for the introduction and let's start with so hardik what do you understand by oop Oops. Oops is like object oriented programming. Its form is object oriented programming. Uh, by this term, I understand like there is uh, there is some. This is the way of representation where we represent things in the form of uh, classes and objects. Mm -hmm. So it is uh, very much uh, related to the real life scenarios. Correct. Correct. Like uh, like let's say tree is a class, plants are a class, and then particular plant is its object. Like mm -hmm. every plant will have some similar properties. Correct, correct. Yeah. So, and in OOPS there are many concepts such as like we can also represent uh, the inheritance like that is in our real life also. And there is concept of abstraction and polymorphism and um, and encapsulation these are these are some of the features yeah. of can you give me uh, one or two line of each of this feature okay so talking about uh, inheritance like it is uh, the parent represent representing something in the form of parent child relationship like uh, there are classes and objects so this is sorry there are an inheritance between classes so talking about abstraction Abstraction means like uh, hiding the uh, hiding like what is happening behind the scenes, just giving the user that uh, front end. Like let's say we drive a car, so we know how we have to apply brake to stop, but we don't know what is happening behind the scenes when we are uh, applying any brake. Mm -hmm. Talking about encapsulation, encapsulation is uh, like summing up all the properties in one entity mm. it is very much related to the term capsule mm. so we uh, we include all the functionalities and data members and everything in a class and yeah th these these are the features okay what do you mean by inheritance and composition what sir what do you mean by inheritance and composition uh, I don't know about composition, sir. Sorry. Okay. So, okay. What is has a relationship? Has a relationship. Uh, has a relationship. Okay. When you told me about inheritance, uh, what <clears throat> relationship it tells? Is the relationship has a relationship? Parent has. Yeah, I, I guess, uh, yes, the inheritance is like, uh, has a relationship, like parent has its child. I'm not very much confident about this topic, sir. Okay. Okay. Uh, so inheritance is a relationship. 
generally okay. and composition what does it mean is like uh, when you have one object inside another object so one object okay. has another object right? okay like i got the point right? yeah. is, uh, inheritance is a so okay now right? i got it exactly also a, i got things connected correct so you told me inheritance properly with the example but these are the terms which also popular yeah. with that mm -hmm. so, getting a point so okay so uh, let's coming to the uh, okay and uh, what do you mean by bst binary search tree okay so binary search tree is like uh, if we talk about a particular root node all the nodes to its left will be smaller and all the nodes to its right will be larger than it and, and this is recursively true for all the correct correct nodes yeah and where yeah. we mostly use uh, bst like uh, because it searching in a bst is uh, log n time correct so when we need something in the log n time complexity where you can search easily so yeah there you can use like in the i guess in the concept of uh, ordered sets and ordered maps there is the concept of yeah. searching in yeah, log n time so bst mostly used during the searching faster search help so yeah so hardik uh, can you tell me what is topological sort topological sort like topological sort is a concept of graph where like if there is a relation uh, if there is an edge between u to v then it is mandatory that uh, u will come first in our topological sort if uh, there is any kind of dependency hmm. so yeah so it is sorting where the one which is dependent on someone will come later correct like you can relate it with the core schedules like if we want to complete uh, if we want to learn about software development we need we need to have the knowledge of data structures and some okay concepts of loops okay can you give me in one line the difference between tree and a graph the difference between tree and a graph okay so tree is basically a type of graph like we can say it is a undirected and acyclic graph mm. and graphs graphs are representation in the form of uh, vertices and edges so, correct that's an acyclic so there is no cycle present into the tree yeah yeah okay so i am mm. done with my uh, base dsa so let's move to the next uh, part of the interview where we will be like 20 minutes each for two uh, two questions right sure sir so sure. Uh, you can feel free to share your screen also so that i can give you a question you can write it there so i'll i'll just uh, start you like uh, whenever we start the timing i'll just keep you reminding the time so sure sir okay do let me know my screen is visible or not sir yes your screen is visible and uh, see uh, can you increase the font little bit if it is possible font okay, okay. Uh, yeah okay. yeah 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 that's better i see okay so first question is uh so i i see uh, are you also okay so you are also representing that's why it is showing a lot of uh, kind of the same screen again yeah yeah so if i will show something else then it so firstly sir you will share your screen and uh, please explain the question so that will be more okay okay can you stop sharing the screen this uh, i don't know what's happening here yes sir so this uh, like how this is coming that i don't know like okay is it an issue because of uh, you are also presenting no that's not like it is showing again and again just because i am presenting i think it's a google meet screen. issue I, i know that it's a google meet issue okay i i'll tell the i will explain the question right so yes, just see like if we, you can do it into uh, like any you can write the question also in your copy right and then we mm -hmm. will see so the question okay. is you are given an array okay right 
you are given an array and you are given some numbers right not okay. in a sorted form it can be jumbled also right okay. so what mm. you have to do is you have to tell me the minimum operation and what is operation is you can increment and decrement by one Okay. Right, each number you can increment by one or decrement by one. So you have okay. to tell me how many operations, minimum operation mm -hmm. you have to do so that all the numbers become same. Okay. Okay. So, so let me give you mm -hmm. an example. Let's say one, two, three. Okay. Okay. So in this case, uh, in the case of one, two, three. So if I, so what is the minimum number of operation is two. How? So if I increment mm -hmm. one by one, mm -hmm. so it will become two. Yeah. Second number is already two. Yeah. And the three, mm -hmm. if I reduce one, it will also become two. Okay. Okay. So how much operation I did two operation I did. So plus one I did for the first one and minus one I mm -hmm. did for the third one. Okay. Okay. Getting you so mm -hmm. what we have to return is what is the minimum number of uh, values? I have to either add or subtract uh, yeah. so that all the numbers become same. Okay, getting your points. Okay, I'll, so, give, you, yeah. I'll give you one more so example after I'm, that you can uh, mm. go through. So one more example you can write is 1, 10, 2, 9. Okay. Okay, so now in this case if you see that how to become uh, the equal values is the output is 16, 1, 6. Okay, so right. output coming is 16. 16, 1, 6. So if you okay. see that I will increment 1 by certain numbers, I will incre increment 2 by certain numbers, I will decrement mm -hmm. some numbers, right? So somehow mm -hmm. the total addition or subtraction is 16 value I have to do to make all the values equal. Getting it. Getting right? Fine. So mm -hmm. question is simple, right? Now use uh, your, like wherever you wanted to code, like, mm -hmm. so just take your time just see if you have any doubt ask questions and okay reply. so i am reiterating the question so the problem is like i am given an array uh, where elements sir can you give me the constraint like elements will be all positive or negative or something no like element that? would be all positive here and elements will be all positive okay so the question is uh, i am given an array with an elements and these elements are positive and for each element i can do possibly two operations like i either i can increase it by one or either i can decrease it by one and at the end i have to make all the elements of the array as equal like let's say yes. size of arrays in the first example one two three let's say uh, now i'm sharing my screen okay so yeah it will be more comfortable for me to explain So is my screen visible? Yeah, it's visible. Okay. So test case one is one, two, three. Yeah. So the array given to me is one, comma, two, comma, three. And the output coming will be two. Output, output will be two. And you okay. know how, right? Hmm. I will be making all the elements as two. Hmm. So I will be increasing the first element by one. It will become two. Hmm. And increasing, I won't be increasing anything in the second element. And in the last element, I will decrement by one. So it will also become two. Okay. okay. And the test case that you gave second one was. Uh, 1, 10, 2, 9. And here output and is coming is 16. Output coming is 16. Okay. 16. Now okay. Uh, I'll uh, start your timer. So it's 9.53. I'll mm -hmm. keep you updated for after 20 minutes. Okay. So let me think how the output for test case 2 is coming. So Let's say I sort the values for understanding now. Ten. Okay. So either let's say if I try to make everyone ten. 
then on how many operations will be there there will be 9 plus uh, 8 plus 1 that is equal to 18 if I try to make everyone is 9 so it will be 8 plus that will be 7 plus 0 plus 1 I will be decrementing 10 so answer for this one is coming as 16 operations okay and let's say I want to make everyone as 2 so it will be 1 plus 0 plus 7 plus 8 okay it is also coming as 16 only okay and if I try to make everyone 1 then it will be 1 plus 8 plus 9 okay it is 8, 9, 17, 80. Okay, so if I make everyone as either 9 or either I will make them 2, then the output is coming as 16. Okay. Hmm. So, let's make a number line. 0, 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, and I am num I'm having numbers at 1, 2, 9, and 10. So for making 10, I will be moving this one, this much distance. And moving this one also, this much distance. Okay. Moving this much also, this much distance. Okay. So, what I am able to think is if in the particular test case, I try to uh, come in between between values like 1, 2, 7, uh, 9, and 10 is the test case. If I try to come to 5, then it will be also. Let me check for the test case. If I am trying to reach five, five, okay. Then I will be moving the one as one by four times to the right, two by three times to the right, and nine by nine by four times. Mm -hmm. And 10 by 5 times it is coming as 7 plus 4 and again it is coming as 16 okay one new for this also it is coming as 16 okay let me take one more test case like things are not very clear either i am getting one instinct that either the answer will be the uh, median of the given values or it will be the, uh, the answer will be the average so i will be taking one more test case okay okay uh, answer will either be mean or median so let's say i am taking one test case as two seven and let's say i am increasing the range by more values let's say i am taking at 18 and 13. 14, 30. Okay. So if I find the mean, it will be mm, 30. So I'll, I guess the answer will be for median because let's say I'm trying 2 plus 7 why, plus why? 18. Just a minute, I'm checking once. So it, the sum is it is thirty fifty seven and by four it will be somewhere around one times forty times okay so average will be at forty so the answer for fourteen will be thirty hmm.
sir i guess the answer will be median because in that case we don't have the median will be one of the elements from the array only and uh, we won't be move for at least one element the answer will be coming to be zero it will be indicating a why median why not average because for average like we have to move each and every element to average and distance will be more mm-hmm. but in case of median it will be some element from the array only okay. let's say for this test case 27 18 and 30 mm-hmm. the median coming will be 18 mm-hmm. so what would be the time complexity of this so for finding the median i have to sort the array first so it will take n log n time and then i will find the median in one okay so the answer time complexity will be n log n can you write the code quickly yeah let's say i am having a function Let's say I will initialize it with zero. And then for I will traverse all the array in i is equal to zero to i less than n i plus plus total operations plus is equal to mm, absolute value of uh, mid nums at i minus middle element return total operations let me check once like if there is an error or not so can I declare n a sort called the sort function over nums and I found the middle element I declare a total operations and in total operations, I am adding the absolute value of difference as I am increasing or decreasing. Yeah, so this is yeah. the okay. template I'm, function. Yeah, I am good with the solution. Um, so, okay, yeah, so we have saved some time here. So it's yeah. only 10 minutes. Okay, so let's move to the next question. Right? Okay. So you saved your time a little bit. Uh, so for next question, now you have almost... Uh, 30 minutes right so uh, the next question is like uh, so you have to find out x raised to power n x raised to the power n yeah x raised to power n mm. right so you need to compute this value okay so any constraints for x and n yeah it would be like uh, it could be in the uh, so x could be in uh, decimals also right X and could be in decimals also, right? Okay. And uh, n could be very big, like it's uh, you can say that it's uh, uh, four times nine, seven times nine, so it could be a big number. So, what you said about n, uh, and n could be very big. Let's say I can also uh, try 0. 0.1 raised to power 999999, that could be mm. big also, right? So, these are the constraints. And just one heads up, Hardik. So it's uh, heavily raining. So if there is an interrupt in the connection and all, 
so i will join uh, back uh, i will connect from my phone so mm-hmm. stay online i will be back if there is any uh, internet connectivity issue okay sir okay. so so you so you got the second question so you have to yeah. find x raised to power n right mm-hmm. so let's say i have given you 2 raised to power 4 so you have to write a method which will compute this 2 raised to power 4 and give me the value okay and i have given you the constant that what could be the mm. x and what could be the y okay so problem is find x raised to power n 2 power n yeah okay where x can be in double format in decimal also and and can be very large okay so for example test case one that i am taking is to to the power 4 okay so if for to to the power 4 the answer will be 2 to 4 and 60 okay getting a point so i'm able to come with a brute force approach like uh, we will write a recursive function which will compute the yeah so which will compute the x to the power n like uh, we will the recursive relation will be something like that uh, like this like for let's say i write a function x to the power n and so for answer of x to the power n the answer will be x star function x comma n minus 1 yeah so this will be my recurrence relation for a uh, given question so what is the time complexity the time complexity for this one will be o of n where n is the power like x power n so shall i write this brute force approach or no, no, no. let's not go for uh, let's not go for the brute force Uh, see, can you little bit um, make it uh, efficient? Before making it making it efficient, uh, I am taking one more test case. Like as you mentioned, the x can also be in double format. So, test case two. Okay, for yeah. simplicity, let's don't uh, think very much about the double. Just take it as an integer. But uh, okay. once you do the approach, we will make it uh, run also for the decimals also. Sure, sure, But for sure. simplicity okay. and for the time sake, just concentrate on it. Could be an integer, right? Okay. Sir. But uh, n is very large, so somehow let's we need to make it lef- little bit efficient. Mm. So let's first concentrate on that. So currently, I am I am telling the approach in O n time complexity. Okay. So let me think of some O of Either log in time so that the big value can be decreased. So let's take an example of uh, let's say I am calculating two to the power four. Okay, so it will be two star two star two star two. Okay, so. Um, I can think is so. If I calculate the value of this half part towards the left, then it can be used for the calculation purpose towards the right side. So it is basically written as two to the power two star two to the power two. Okay. So. Yeah, we can use this property like we can divide it into two parts. Let's say power given is n. Then let's say I'm writing the recurrence relation for the solution that I'm telling. 
let's say for the solution fx comma n it is basically equal to f of x comma n by 2 star f of x x comma n by 2 okay so since this uh, in this recurrence relation the this part left mm -hmm. part and right part are similar correct so we will find this uh, we will store this solution of n by 2 in variable let's say x and i will be storing it f of x comma n by 2 so i will be writing here as just this one like x star i will be calling only one time not two time got it got it yeah so this is the approach that i am able to think yeah any so, use case which is missing yeah so it will the use case that is critical over here is like when the power is odd let's say i am taking an example as 2 to the power 7 so it is so n by 2 will come as let's say 3 7 by 2 is 3 so i will be calling function to 2 to the power 3 once then the solution will be okay so solution will be like 2 to the power 7 will be 2 to the power 3 star 2 to the power 3 start that is 2 to the power 1 so in this test case i have to make sure like it was proper cool yeah the, and what is the time complexity of this approach are they sir so this will be log n time complex, o of log n like since we are dividing the power into from the mid part so it is decreasing by a factor of two every time cool i, I actually am good with this approach okay yes so uh so coding would be very simple so you have already written the formula so that would be very easy so mm -hmm. that's very nice and okay so since we have some time so i will use this time to uh, see more of uh, some fields so can you a uh, little bit tell me about the min heap and max heap yes sir so min heap is actually a data structure where uh, the topmost value in the in our heap will be the smallest value out of all mm -hmm. so and it is not mandatory that uh, all the values to its left will be smaller or all the values to the right will be greater but all the values below it will be greater for sure how does hippy5 works let's say i want to insert something so let's say i am taking one example yeah, of a take a min heap uh, approach only so let's say we are building a min heap and mm -hmm. we are trying to build uh, insert some value how okay. it does insert into the heap Okay, so let's say my heap structure is something like this. Two, five. Basically, heap is a form of complete binary tree. So, all the nodes uh, above the last level will be filled for sure, and all the nodes in the starting of the last level will be filled. It can be left out in the end of end only let's say this is my okay so i am taking an example that i want to insert three into it so so is this a mini hmm? yes sir Does six can, come? Can you, is it filling something? Yeah. Uh, I'm not yeah. exactly. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's first try to insert a value into that. Yeah. So I will put the element over here. Like, since these two positions are filled in the last level, then the element three. I will add this element three in the uh, left part of five. Left of five. Okay. 
so since it is a property that uh, the value higher in the level will be having smaller value than the values in lower level so i will swap these two values that is uh, 5 okay. with 3 so it will be 3 and now 5 okay. now i will check its parent 3's parent which is 2 so since it is smaller so it is following the property of mini that's why i won't be doing anything and this is so what is the time complexity for doing the hippify it will be log n sir and what is the overall time complexity of heap overall time complexity means for making an entire heap with an elements entire element or like uh, yeah you can say that what? it will it will be let's say for in average it is o of n but in worst case it will be o of n log n, n log n correct cool yeah okay that's pretty much from my side uh, hardik right so, so any feedback for me before we jump to the uh, your feedback no sir like everything was fine like okay i haven't given too many interviews till now so how i can give feedback to you no, if anything you feel like the uh, question was not cleared or I was hurrying it up or something which you think I can improve, uh, let me no, know. No, no, everything was fine, sir. You are taking a okay. very so, nice interview and doing a great work for the okay. society. So, let's come to the feedback, man. Uh, yes. So, Plan are they... Stop, yeah. stopping. Yeah, you can stop uh, presenting also. So, Hardik, first of all, your DSA is awesome, right? Thank you. I'm not sure you have done this question before or not, but the way you have explained me, I feel that you have taken me like how you think through. Yes. Like, so you. at least I was able to build the logic with you also. Even if I am uh, new to this question, right? The mm -hmm. way you have explained. Nowhere I felt that does Hardik knows this question or not. I have, even if you have solved it, but the right. way you have explained right each and every detail you have not directly jumped to the answer you have a uh, thing through from the start that okay what if this will happen what will this use case will happen and then you told okay if i go with this then it would be the better approach so that was very nice mm -hmm. so based on this two questions and all the questions which you have answered i can say that your dsa preparation is very good Thank right you. So awesome work on that. Another thing which I like is you are clarifying the questions if you, you are not clear, right? That is very yes. important. You are thinking out loud. So nowhere in the, if anybody will see this video, right? I will just say that the way you have uh, taken after, after I just stop and then you have taken over, you never, there was a never a gap where the, there is a silent in the video yes sir. right so it was a called as thinking out loud or di discussions right so that was very right so thinking out loud also you were there so i was uh, totally engaged with you right Thank you. so the code which you have written is the one which i say is very clean coding so you have taken the proper variable names only thing is i and j which still try to avoid i and n as much as possible <laughs> but otherwise uh, all the names which you have taken is good right so for the second question you have come up with the brute force approach that is also very good so always come up with the brute force approach yes your oops concept we have asked so many oops concepts so you have explained with example that was very very nice even sometime uh, interviewer wants this uh, kind of example mm -hmm. only thing is like uh, you know but uh, the words other than like composition you don't yeah. know right even i can now after this interview i can surely say that you definitely know if i can tell you you can uh, create a class which has a has a relationship like mm. you can know i have to create an object inside an object so you might be knowing but you didn't know the word composition yes right thank so, you a little lack of revision in the correct. concept so uh, just take care of these words also like uh, mm -hmm. the terms is a relationship is nothing but a inheritance right yeah okay. so i know mm -hmm. you told me inheritance you told me with an example so you know what is inheritance but somebody can ask you also what can you explain is the relationship yes exactly. so you should know at that time is there is nothing but he's asking for an inheritance okay yeah so just look for like uh, which inheritance is also called as what mm -hmm. right 
so that is uh, one thing uh, like just see what all other terms can be used for that uh, approach also mm, right getting time complexity is your good like uh, for all the approaches the time complexity brute force plus approach wise time complexity i didn't see any doubt plus all the dsa basics uh, logical questions which i asked time complexity were perfect so that is also very important i can say that you are very good in approach building like uh, if you have come up with the approach right this one right it's like then i can say your dsa would be like awesome at this point of time right yeah. so that is very very good that's overall like say it's say a po- very very positive feedback i won't take a, even a second to uh, recommend for the second round itself so <laughs> thank, yeah. thank you so much they That's actually the, I was expect, expecting a little hard question from you so I like from the previous videos I was the questions were like a little harder no actually x raised to power n was very hard like I don't say very hard but uh, yeah. if you don't know that property right x raised to power n can be used yeah. twice like but that's what i'm saying your approach building is very good <laughs> so for this for this question also you feel easy so i now i am thinking i should have uh, prepare the harder question for you <laughs> so yeah that's what i'm saying your approach uh, building is very good your dsa is good even these questions i thought tw- that's why i have given two questions 20 minutes yes sir. because i know uh, i have choose little bit easier question because of the yeah. time constraint i want to put a pressure on with the time but Uh, you are very fast on this one so like you can say i failed on it or you are very good but now i am thinking i should have prepared it was a good day for me that problems fall in my bucket <laughs> yeah yeah no so that's pretty much good that at least with the questions which you have like easy questions and whichever you have mm-hmm. practice and with the time limitation that is all good right so there is no issue hardik i can also take another round of for you also with full hard questions also right so okay. no problem at all i i just need to uh, find a time like uh-huh. i can also uh, like i can take uh, one hour more also no problem in a day that night mm-hmm. but yes your dsa is good and i can know like if i am going to take another round i will definitely prepare some hard questions for you right yes, but sir. for this interview it was very very positive feedback so mm-hmm. even so hardik it doesn't matter only for the questions right even let's say they i ask some medium level medium medium easy level question because of two right mm. the way other questions which you have answered and the way you have speak right yes. way you are answering that is very very nice thank you right so if so if you say that dsa is uh, 50% 50% is all also this thing right yes so i would say that you are good in dsa but apart from this other things were also good right so, so so how will you rate me in terms of communication no communication was very good like uh, before when we started right i didn't like it would be that much good like uh, so you were speaking like it's a very hard actually right thinking out loud is very very hard so sometimes we think right there is a pause for 5 minutes right mm. so that was very good like uh, even we sometimes we know the answer right we yes we are not able to express and like okay i am going from this to this yeah like, so sometimes we do is like we can do okay i will this use case and then suddenly jump to this so uh interviewer doesn't feel much connection okay he might have mm-hmm. known but the way you have you have done i never uh, at a single point of time i know that you know the answer i'm not sure you know the answer before or not now you can tell me but uh, the, the answer like Yeah. So like the problem you uh, that you are text to the power and it is basically taught in universities not as also so things are familiar like things are yeah because this is a mathematical formula yeah. I just cramped the problem when I was in my first year but now I with the time I got correct. the concept of correct correct now. correct so Hardik overall so if you see the overall video right overall uh, mm. interview wise that was good so you know DSA that is also okay. <laughs> right uh, so mm-hmm. you so you got some easier question let's so actually it's the uh, same thing happens in interview right yeah. so in the during the placement so there are multiple interview comes in like yeah. i'll tell you my experience when uh, i when we were going for the placement right so let's say one company comes in 
right mm. there are multiple interviewer so when we go right so we were thinking like okay mujhe wo wala interview milna chahiye he is asking easy question like it's a literally true that one interviewer asks some easy question one interviewer yeah. asks hard so it's a luck also sometimes so it's mm. a hard work plus luck sometimes you get the questions which you are expecting and this yeah. is also a critical that even if you know so see in the placement they are also ask puzzles if you know mm. right Maybe so what, yeah ask. they ask puzzles and sometimes what happen is we we take so many puzzles right and it's a very very high chance that sometimes they ask the puzzle which we already know and one ah. mistake which my friend was this is he asked the puzzle mm-hmm. and he know mm-hmm. the answer and mm-hmm. even before the he interview didn't complete he give the answer <laughs> right so that's why he rejected because you know like so this is also a skill like if you know the answer take yeah. it to the journey like how you are building that thing like right? so that is also a skill which is very good so i'm very very much positive for you like so you are going to do very much uh, good in your placements keep this uh, dsa part good and the way yeah. you have done right chill like i am i am not sure it is a mock that's why you are so chill so just keep the same attitude just chill mm-hmm. right keep the smile on and do dsa properly and rest everything is totally good like i really like the interview man yeah okay so thank you right and maybe in the next round when we will do like i will definitely prepare the hard desk course that for you <laughs> okay to <laughs> give one more round like yeah yeah i will definitely take okay hardik thanks a lot man thanks for staying uh, late night man thanks a lot hardik see you thank Bye. you good night good, good night, night. Yeah.